Here's Quinn. He's guarded by Johnson. Johnson over to help. Here's Bogdanovich. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Now here's Jameson. 12 points his last outing. He feeds it to Johnson. Fast break. Here they come. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Stolen by Jameson. Here's Kanan. 14 points from him, the last game against Memphis. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. With a break in the action, let's now bring up the 2K leaderboard. We'll look at the league's top scores over the past 10 games. And you look at Q, a top five score in the league. What a player he is. I'll tell you what, he's been on quite a roll here of late. Just a pure scoring display. Boozer, he's checked in for Mason Plumley. Jack dishes to Quinn. Came in trying to break free. Uses the glass to finish the lane. 13 points for Q. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. All right, a chance to check out some stats for Ariza. Now the last month of basketball was for him. He's averaging 11 points per game, six rebounds, and two assists. And he's really been pulling his weight. We're finding his name in a lot of different columns in their box scores. Yeah, and that's what they're looking for from him, Steve. He doesn't have to be the star, just somebody with solid contributions across a wide range of areas. Here's Keenan. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. He still couldn't finish, even though it looked like he had a lane to the rim. But too often, that's the story for him. Came in a screen. Here's Quinn. Adiunas grabs the miss. Aniunas has got three rebounds now in this one. Kanan gets to Ariza. And it's sent back by Kanan. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Ariza goes in. The steal. And here is Jack. Right now averaging five points a game. Boozer a screen on Johnson. Here's Quinn. And the Nets miss again. Very poor shot selection there, guys. Outside, Jamison. The feed to Cannon. Back to Jamison. Banked in off the glass. Jamison's got seven points. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Four, three. Next Monday night, February 22nd, Brooke Lopez and the Brooklyn Nets take on Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks. Live from Dallas, do not miss it. And so the first quarter. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. What teams making substitutions here? Nets trail by seven. Sessions out there with Johnson. Then there's Bonnie Unis. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Jamison in at the force. That's the five for Houston right now. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets. Now they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. 
They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. That one misses, so he goes one for two. You know, they built their lead here by doing all the little things well. And one of those things has been rebounding, Clark, because they have really come out and taken control of the boards. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Hi, Kev. Well, Q in their last time out against the Magic gave them an edge. He ended up with 34 points, and the basket must have looked like an ocean to him as he nailed three after three. A dominating performance from a player who might start making waves around the NBA. That is what the franchise hopes, at least, guys. Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night, Steve, and he didn't disappoint us. No, he didn't. In fact, he did everything they asked of him and more. And I think he really enjoys being that go-to guy for them. Yeah, I think he relishes that because he knows he's capable of doing it. He's had some performances that have fortified his confidence in that role. So he's uh, in a good place right now. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Nice shot by Jameson. Nets trail by 11. It's deflected. Now Williams. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Six to shoot. Here's Quinn. He's guarded by Johnson. Statistically speaking, let's see where the Rockets sit right now. First in steal, fourth in assists, and they are in the top ten in team points per game. Yeah, Clark, this is a team that scares opponents because of that steals number that you talked about. Uh, they're so good at anticipating plays. They seem to have a good scheme defensively, night in and night out. They know their roles. They make their rotations. They read the passing lanes, and they frequently get out there, make steals, and then get out in their transition game. Sessions, no good. Nets trail by nine. Here's Quinn. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. And that's 21 points for Q. Houston's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Johnson with it. Now, guarded by Plumlee. Jamison, no luck. Brooklyn's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free-throw line here. Complete domination. What a game for Q. He's got 21 points, and the three-pointers have been dropping for him. He's got three of them. Well, as long as he's continuing to make them, I, I think they should make him more of a focal point of this offense. Free throw good from Quinn. Both free throws good from Quinn. Here's Sessions. Six points for him. There's the pass to Jameson. Down low. Leaps for it. Here's Monte Yunus. Hands the shot with nobody near him. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Nets trail by six. Williams passes to Quinn. And he banks in the layup. Quinn's got 25 points in the game. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first. And that was pretty good. Williams against Sessions. Pass to Jameson. He kicks it to Monte Yunus. That's tipped. Five to shoot. Pass to Johnson. Shoots the three. 
That ball is great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions has got his fifth assist in this one. Brooklyn's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. 51 seconds left in the first half of the game. Quinn misses off the right iron. Rockets leading by seven. Now here's Sessions, averaging nine points per contest. Here's Jameson, and it's Kamen with the rebound. Well, I think they've lost their aggressiveness a little bit. They're not getting fouled and going to the line. Well, you know, that's an excellent point you make there, Steve, but we got to be careful not to nitpick here. I mean, they do still have the lead, and that's an advantage they'd be wise to continue to press forward on. 26 seconds left. Left in the second quarter. Sessions with it. He has six. Jamison with a screen for Sessions. Ariza goes in. Here's Jamison. Drains it from 17 feet out. Jamison's got 14. Boy, beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. Here's Quinn. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. That'll do it for the first half. The Rockets on top, up seven. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing. Well, Dwight, an energetic and locked. Okay, everybody, pay attention. We definitely got some stuff to go over from the first half. We're not going to let this game get away from us. Continue to have smart possessions. Let's keep the turnovers to a minimum. That was a big boost to our offense. On the fast break is where we showed the most signs of life. When we pushed it, we were able to catch them on their heels a few times. Okay, transition points will be huge for us in this half. It'll be worth one or two less guys crashing the boards if they're up. The second half just about to get going here. What can you say? Q, an impressive effort here today. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. Offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jock Rivers. Win. he's in a shooting guard. Also, Darren Williams out there. Brooke Lopez is out there with Johnson. And it's Barry in at the power forward. Houston. Leading by seven. Sessions dishes to Howard. Harden outside. Three-pointer. Sessions, no good. Net shooting around 40% from the floor here. Turn around Jay, and it's off the back rim, no good. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and shooting free throws are better than a layup. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. So he gets them both. Nets trail by nine. Williams kicks to Quinn. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Maybe that'll ignite. 